You guys are going up when today? What's that? We are on at 315. 315, is this your first 8035 experience? Yes. Now, uh, how did you guys prepare for such a monumentous occasion? Uh, we drank a lot of beer and ate a lot of chips, and uh, we rehearsed a couple times. You guys call Iowa home. Uh, when I was growing up, we never had, we didn't have anything like this. I mean, there were sure there are other festivals that take place in Des Moines, but they're all butt rock festivals that nobody cares about except for all those dudes that smoke foil on the south side. Uh, how important is something like this to further growth for artists like you guys that are that are coming up that are uh, not in a genre that the, the, the general public usually grasps onto, like mom and pop that are driving the jet out of Jordan Creek. Uh, I think uh, the free stages do a lot of great things for local acts because a lot of people don't have to pay to come see a lot of uh, talented local artists. Um, I think it's just a, a great event because look at all these people. No one downtown Des Moines doesn't usually look like this, uh, except for maybe the arts festival. So to have all these people here and just walking around and catching some new acts, uh, it's, a, it's a good thing for the town. One of the, the the one question that gets asked in this tent more than any other is who were you guys excited to see? You guys were all here yesterday, all day. Uh, who did you see yesterday that blew you away? Uh, Edward Sharp was amazing yesterday. Fucking awesome. Uh, Edward Sharp. <laughs> Wolfgang. Okay. Okay. Won't get kicked that off. Joel was here for Girl Talk. Joel loves Girl Talk. Joel, Joel loves Girl Talk. Joel loves the uh, 30 second sound bites of every top 40 song for the last 10 years all matched together. I mean, that, that, that is something that Joel has been into the past few years. He does it by himself at his home. He's got a couple laptops that he uses, but Joel, <laughs> Joel will be there pretty soon. He'll probably be called Boy Talk. Boy Talk? Yeah. It's like Girl Talk's cute little sister. Yeah. Um, <laughs> How, how diverse are, are, are your guys' musical backgrounds? Like, are, are you guys into all different kinds of music? I mean, that's one of the things that I keep hearing in bands. There's always, there's always a metal guy, and there's always, a, there's always like a hip hop guy, and there's always a bluegrass guy. Is that the same way in this band? Yeah, I think we all listened to techno growing up. Uh, so the fact that we write folk music is kind of weird. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that I'm the metal guy in the group. Uh, I play in a lot of metal bands. This is actually my first folk band. I used to play with Nick a lot, and uh, he played in some hardcore bands as well, but, you know. Joel's pretty jazz. Joel's jazz. <laughs> Strictly jazz. When you guys when you guys go on road trips, when you guys tour outside of Des Moines, uh, is it a democratic vote for the band DJ, or does the driver get to pick? We actually took three cars on our last tour, so we had a, a pretty easy time. <laughs> uh, there was a Blink-182 car for a while. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Newfound Glory for a little while, too. Yeah. It was awesome. Black yeah. Dahlia murder. Is this, are you guys nervous at all for your first 8035 experience, or is this just old hat and another show? I actually just peed my pants. What? <laughs> I think nervousness is abound. Now you guys are up uh, at, at 3.15 on the independent stage. Yes. The River Monks. If you guys want to come meet these guys, come on in and, and give them a big beardy kiss and a hug. We'll be signing babies. <laughs>